Looking smart yet stylish poses a sartorial challenge for any royal living under the glare of a thousand flashbulbs. So it's little wonder that when it came to choosing an outfit for her arrival in Poland today, the Duchess of Cambridge turned once again to an old favourite, in the form of Alexander McQueen. The British label, headed up by designer Sarah Burton, were the brains behind Kate's 2011 wedding dress and are fast becoming her label of choice for grueling royal tours. Stepping off the plane in Warsaw on Monday, the Duchess, who is thought to have forged a close bond with Burton, looked smart enough for the formality of the occasion while simultaneously flying the flag for British fashion. For Kate, who has previously admitted to grappling with shyness in her public role, the label ticks all the boxes of a busy mother of two who wants to channel a classic, timeless look with a trendy edge. Creative director Sarah Burton has previously spoken about the happy experience of designing Kate Middleton's show-stopping fairy tale gown for the 2011 royal wedding. She told The Telegraph, I loved making the dress, I loved adapting my ideas to suit the person and the occasion, and we put our hearts into it. I respect the intimate nature of that lovely project and I respect the friendships that were forged during it. But Kate's love affair with the luxury brand goes way back beyond her wedding day, she has appeared in various designs by the brand, which is now led by Burton after eponymous designer McQueen passed away in 2010, on countless significant occasions, from the Jubilee Royal Tour in 2012 to a meeting with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau last year. Indeed, some of her most memorable evening looks are the work of the British label including a gold-flecked gown she wore to a gala dinner in Malaysia during the 2012 Jubilee Tour. William and Kate's trip this week, taken at the request of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, is likely to be seen as another Brexit diplomacy tour, helping to maintain and strengthen the UK's relations with Europe as it leaves the EU. But all eyes will be on three-year-old Prince George and two-year-old Princess Charlotte, who are getting used to travelling overseas having joined their parents in Canada last year for an official trip. With George starting school in South London this September, attending the mixed-sex Thomas's Battersea School, and his sister likely to be enrolled in a nursery, this is the last time the royal couple will be able to take their children with them without school commitments making it problematic. Royal watchers will also get a glimpse of Kate's new haircut dubbed the Cop, Kate Bob, which she debuted during a visit to Wimbledon last week. Kate appears to have lost quite a few inches from her tresses and it has a vibrant deep brown color. After receiving an official welcome on Monday, the foursome walked along a red carpet into a small terminal past the large group of media and on to a meeting with Poland's President Andrzej Duda. A Kensington Palace spokesman said, the Duke and Duchess are very much looking forward to this tour and are delighted with the exciting and varied program that has been put together for it. They have decided that their children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, will travel with them and we expect the children to be seen on at least a couple of occasions over the course of the week. William and Kate's five-day trip will begin with a welcome from President Andrzej Duda in the Polish capital, followed by a visit to the Warsaw Rising Museum dedicated to the 1944 Polish uprising to liberate Warsaw from German occupation during the Second World War, and end with a Queen's birthday garden party. During their five-day tour William and Kate will also meet survivors of the Holocaust and Nazi oppression as they acknowledge the complex 20th century histories of each country. In Poland, they will tour the former Stuthof concentration camp where 65,000 people died at the hands of their captors and also visit Berlin's Holocaust Museum and Memorial. They will also tour the site of Gdansk's shipyards, the birthplace of Poland's solidarity movement that helped topple communist rule. Here they will meet with founding members of the organization but it is not known if Lech Walesa, Poland's former president and leader of its peaceful pro-democracy struggle, will be present. Chancellor Angela Merkel will hold a private meeting with the royal couple in Berlin at the start of the German leg of their tour on Wednesday, and afterwards William and Kate will visit the Brandenburg Gate, a symbol of German unification. The mood will change when the Duke and Duchess renew their friendly sporting rivalry, that seems to play a part in most of their trips, when they visit the picturesque Germany city of Heidelberg, twinned with Cambridge.
William and Kate will take to the waters of the River Necker to cox opposing rowing teams in a race with crews from drawn from Cambridge and Heidelberg, before flying back to the UK on Friday.